And now it's time for the fabulous Price is Right pricing game recap. Now, even though my pricing game that I want to do wasn't played today, a eh, the reason why I'm doing this recap today instead of Mr. Horgan is because is because of one special guest who appeared in this episode that is close closely related Hey, aided in terms of Boston sports. You'll find out who it is later on in the recap. But anyways, here are the recaps for today's episode, for today's date, October 2nd, 2014. Today's pricing games were... Range Game, Most Expensive, Pathfinder, Bargain Game, It's in the Bag, and Money Game. Our first contestant was Michael. No, not Mr. Horgan. And this Michael played range game for a trip to Canada. It, uh, to, that's right, to Ben Mason's home country. The starting ra the range scale, you know, as we know, started at 7,600 and went all, all the way to 8,200. So yeah, 7,600 to 8,200. Right. He, Michael ended up stopping the range with the $150 range at the price marker of... Between seven thousand seven hundred and seven thousand eight fifty, and when the price of the trip to Canada was revealed, it turned out to be seven thousand eight hundred seventy. He was so close. He stopped it. He stopped it a little too soon. That's right, too early. He should have gone just a little bit more and he would have had it. Oh, well. Okay, our next contestant was Nancy. She played most expensive for a chance to win these free prizes, which were, were a set of Valentino designer shoes, an outdoor model by gorgeous Gwendolyn, an outdoor bar modeled by the ravishing Rachel, and and a pizza oven as modeled modeled by jo by George Gray. Gray. She believed that the that the pizza oven was the most expensive prize. So she picked. So let let's see if it was was well. Actually, part of me was thinking that, but another part thought the outdoor bar was. We'll see. But let's see. First, for the set of shoes, the pri actual retail price of the shoes was $2,585. Hmm, that made me a little bit unsure. The price of the outdoor bar was $1,499. So, Nancy didn't, so good thing Nancy actually did not pick that. So, if if the pizza oven was more than $2,585, she'd be a winner. Winner. And when George flipped over the price of the pizza oven, it turned out that it was... $3,349! She, she wins all three prizes. <coughs> Pardon me. All three prizes giving her a grand total of $7,433 in prizes altogether. Great job. Okay, Katrina was the next contestant. She played Pathfinder for, for a Toyota Yaris L. The first number in the price of the car of the vehicle was, was a one. One, so... So in her fur, in her fur. So when she made her first step for what she believed it was the next number, she believed it was the eight and not the six, nor the seven or the nine. Was eight the next number in the price of the car? No, it wasn't. Back she went, so she had to go for a do-over. And for the of the three small prizes she picked, she went with she went with the handheld steamer as the do-over. She believed that the price of the steamer was $42 and not $23. And yes, it was $42. So she got another chance to walk. Now before she made her second step, she asked if this was a hybrid car, which 
which Drew said that it wasn't. If it had been a hybrid, then it would have been. So, so she would. So if it meant hybrid, she probably was thinking a Toyota Prius instead of a Yaris. But anyway, when she so then so with this with her second a chance, she she then believed that the second number and the price of the car was a seven, and yes, it was a seven. Then seventeen thousand dollar car. Then, for the next number, she believed that it was a four. Four, so she stepped to that, and yes, it was. It was a four. $17,400 car. Then, in her next, then for her next guest, she believed, she believed it, it, that the fourth number was an eight, and not the five or the nine. Was eight the fourth number in the price of the car? No, it wasn't. So she had to get, had to go back for another, back to the four for another do-over. So, so this time she went with the juicer, and she believed that the she believed the price of the juicer was one hundred seventy-five dollars and not one hundred thirty-eight dollars. There's, uh, uh, nope, uh, uh, the juicer was one hundred thirty-eight dollars. So she had to get the ra the do-over razor right, or else the game would be over. And so, so, so since it was the only one left, so. For that men's razor, she believed that the price of the razor was thirty-nine dollars and not twenty dollars. And when the price of the razor was revealed, it turned out that it was twenty dollars. And and that and she ran out of do-overs, and the game was over. The actual actual retail price of the vehicle was seventeen thousand four hundred fifty-two dollars. <sighs> that was what a shame. All right, Ricky. No, not not radio host Ricky Smiley, nor Ricky Ricardo of I Love Lucy. See, Ricky was the next contestant. He played. He played the bargain game for a chance to win these two prizes, which were a combined laptop and iPad package, and and a new tread climber from Bowflex. Bargain prices were one thousand four hundred ninety-eight for the for the laptop and two thousand six hundred ninety-nine for the tread climber. He believed that that the laptop and iPad was the bigger bargain, and he said it that he believed it for sure. So we'll see if it was right. First, price of the tread climber. Or bargain price two thousand six ninety-nine. Actual retail price three thousand two hundred ninety-nine. The difference of Six hundred dollars. So I think it was looking good here. So if the laptop and iPad's bargain was more than six hundred, he'd be a winner. Okay. Now for the laptop and iPad package. Actual re bargain price one thousand four hundred ninety-eight. Actual retail price two thousand four hundred ninety-eight. A difference of. $1,000! He's a winner! So he wins both prizes, giving him a grand total of $5,797 in prizes altogether. Great job. <clears throat> All right. Megan was our next contestant, who is from who happens to be from Ben Mason's home country of Canada. And no, this Megan, and no, that Megan, no, and no, it's not Megan Trainer who's all about that bass, about that bass, no treble. Besides, that song's number one on the Hot 100 for the fourth week in a row, by the way. Well, Megan had, had a chance, played It's in the Bag for a chance to win up to $16,000 in U.S. and it's in U.S. currency. If it was in Canadian currency, it would be about eighteen thousand eight hundred twenty-four Canadian dollars. There's a, if you count dollars only. Anyways, 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 for the for what she believed, the six grocery items were Hellman's man were some mayonnaise, some uh, some body wash, a, a guava juice beverage, some cheese and baby Swiss crackers. Allegra allergy medicine and spot shot hot cleaner. 
For what she believed went in the 59 cent bag, she believed the guava juice went, went in that one. Then for the 1870 bag, bag marked at $18.70, she believed the Allegra belonged there. Then, for, for what she believed was in the 699 bag, she went with the spot shot cleaner. Then, for the $2.79 bag, she, she believed that the mayonnaise went there. And finally, for the $3.99 bag, like she believed the body wash went there, thus leaving the cheese it cheese its baby Swiss crackers out. Okay, we'll see. Let's see how it went. For $1,000, was the, was the guava juice in the 59-cent bag? Yes, it was. She deci Megan decided to go on for $2,000. So for two thousand, was the Allegra in the eighteen dollar seventy cent bag? Yes, it was. So she got two thousand. She kept going. For four thousand dollars, was the spot shot in the six ninety nine bag? Yes, it was. So she got four thousand, and she elected to keep going. For eight thousand dollars, was was the mayonnaise in the two dollar seventy nine cents bag? Yes, it was. She got eight thousand. So this was exciting. So now, now, and she chose to go off. She chose to go on rather than rather than risk the eight thousand. She chose to go off on and on rather than take the money and go. So if the body wash was in the free ninety nine bag, she would win the full sixteen thousand dollars. And. And so Drew let Megan push the button, and what? <clears throat> and finally, I can say was and inside the free ninety nine cent bag was. Oh my goodness! I cannot believe it. It was a body wash. She she won the sixteen thousand dollars. Woo hoo! Well, not a bad win. What an exciting way to for for that game for for that game for it's in the bag's first playing of the season to get a win. Now that that Megan really mu must know her really must know her grocery items go given that she has an accountant. So she so I guess she may have studied that. <coughs> okay, finally David, who was the first contestant called out. On down to contestants row at the beginning of the episode. Well, he finally made it out. Out and would play money game for a chance to win a new Kia Rio LX. Oh yes, and by the way, he was David was also wearing a Boston Strong t-shirt too, since he happens to be from Boston. Okay. In his first, the middle number and the price of the car was a zero. Ha, huh, kind of weird. Okay. For what he believed were the fir first two numbers, in his first pick he went 17. Behind that, dollar sign. Then he went with 16. Be behind that, dollar sign again. He was up to $33. Then he went with 15. <coughs> Which was probably the only obvious choice now. And yes, 15. behind 15 was the front of the car. So it was a $15,000 car. Then he went with 58. Behind that was... Behind that, dollar sign. Fine, he was up to 91. Up to 91 dollars, so... So for his final pick, he went with... Nine, he went with 92. And behind 92 was... A dollar sign. But the act... Yeah, as for which number contained the back of the car, it was 31. So key, so the actual retail price of the Kia Rio was $15,031. But on the on the bright side, David did, however, win $183 in cash altogether. So that is, that is a consolation win. <clears throat> okay, and now on to the acknowledgement sections. There's not that much to give. But the only real acknowledgement is, is for according to what some people used users in the recap team would see if they watched it regarding the sixteen, the it's in the bag. They could say sixteen thousand dollars won on on it's in the bag's very first playing of the season. Incredible! For in fact, for in fact, 
this is only at least the second time that I know of in the Drew Carey era where the full amount was won. One when the game was won in its first playing of the season, because the last time I remember that happening was way back on Drew Carey's very first aired episode of, episode of The Price is Right back in Octo October of 2007. I can't believe it's been seven year, in nearly seven years already. Ready for which we remember in that playing, that one had the contestant Aura win the full, full amount. By the way, Mr. Horgan does have a retro recap of that episode on his channel. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. Also, Ben Mason's with him for that, for that one. Fun. <coughs> and so, anyways, contest. So now, so that, so we had free pricing games won today. Today, we had, in their entirety, they were, well, fully, they were most expensive bargain game, and it's in the bag. Bag. And we gave away a total of $16,183 in cash. 183 won, won by David in Money Game. And, as I said before, the full $16,000 won by Megan in, in It's in the Bag. So... Contestant recognition goes to Dave David for his small win, and for the MVPs given with the special guest, uh, since I'm going to use some Patriots references, Nancy is the Julian Edelman of Edelman of the team, of uh, Edelman of the show. Ricky is the Rob Gronkowski of the show, and Megan Megan is the Tom Brady of the show. So for the all for their wins, so they are the M free MVPs respectively. Now, Nancy and Megan also were in addition. Also, one more acknowledgement: there also was a spinoff in the second showcase showdown as uh, between Dave, David and Megan because they had, they each were tied at ninety five cents after their respective spins spins, and Megan won. And now for the showcases, since both Nancy and Megan won their games and were in the showcases, I'll tell you about the showcase. The first showcase contained a den which contained some lever, reclining lever seats, a foosball table, and some, and a cool, cool fridge with LCD technology. Or LED technology. Oh, well, whatever. But at least it was a den. Also contained a trip to Barbados, and George Gray only said it as just a motorcycle. It was really a Ducati, for which Gwendolyn modeled, modeled I think the the fir first two prizes, and Rachel modeled the motorcycle, modeled the Ducati. Megan chose Megan was the big winner, and Nancy was the runner up. Uh, Megan chose to pass on the showcase, so Nancy bid twenty three thousand five hundred dollars for her showcase. And now for the second showcase, which contained the special guest. That special guest happens to be former New England Patriots defensive linebacker Willie McGinnis, a.k.a. Num who wore number 55, three-time Super Bowl champion. Well, in this showcase that Willie presented, the free prizes were, were a free DHD TV, which showed the logo for CBS's Thursday Night Football, for which there is a game tonight, and I will make this my sponsor too, a trip to Boston, which included tickets to see the New England Patriots play their Thursday Night game against the New York Jets, which will be on October 16th, exactly two weeks from now, and a new Chevy Cruze LS. Megan bid 25100 <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. As I said, Megan bid $25,150 on her showcase. And now to the showcase results. Starting with Meg. Drew started with Megan. Megan's bid, $25,150. Actual retail price, $28,345. A difference of $3,195. And now to Nancy's showcase. Her bid, $23,500. Actual retail price of her showcase, $22,411. Nancy was over, which means 
Megan wins the showcase! So, she definitely really had a great day. Hey, both, yeah, with the $16,000 won altogether, plus that, the showcase. So, Megan won a grand total of $44,925. There's in cash and prizes all together, and that definitely makes a great touchdown! Haha, <laughs> so, so, good, so she's gonna be seeing the Pats play at Gillette Stadium. By the way, I have been there, but n I've never attended any Pats games there. Okay, so, now, so, now on to my sponsor for the recap, because, ah, and appropriate enough, this pricing game recap was is is brought to you by Thursday Night Football. Oh, okay. pregame begins at 8 p.m. tonight on CBS, and the kickoff falls at 8:30. Gee, so Jim Nance and Phil Sims will will carry these these games live, and and besides, there is and the game that's tonight's matchup, as we know, is Green Bay versus Minnesota. The Green Bay Packers versus the Minnesota Vikings, so I'm sure Neil Rocks 87 will be watching for that. Now, before I go, just want to also let you know, tomorrow is also the breast cancer awareness episode. Now, normally Neil has done the recaps in the past, but unfortunately, according to a Facebook post, he's decided not to do it this year because of because of he still has to settle a few more things in his new apartment, just so you know. Oh, since he recently moved moved out out since moved to a new place since his last recap. So it's likely Mr. Horgan will likely do the recap unless certain pricing games get played. In fact, I might do the recap if the card game gets play played. We'll just have to see. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this recap. And remember, this is Martin S51989 reminding you to help control the pet population. Don't forget to have your pets spayed and neutered. Goodbye, everybody.